Hey everybody, Jason here today. Today I'm going to do a quick video on tires. Now, everybody knows that when you're racing RC cars, there's really nothing more important than tires. It, good tires will mask a bad setup, but a great setup will not mask bad tires. That's just, there's just no way around it. I can't tell you how many times I've been at a big race and I see guys jump and ship from one brand of tire to another looking for the fast one, and when they finally find the right tire, they're on pace. Now, it seems, the funny thing that goes on in the, in the tire industry, if you watch closely, is one manufacturer will release some type of an update or a new tread pattern or a new compound, and then all the other manufacturers follow suit. And they all have kind of taken their turns dropping new tires and new compounds and stuff like that, and so it's kind of fun to watch. But the tire we're going to talk about today is, the, is basically it's a heads-up comparison. There was an original tire, and this is a good old-fashioned original Team Losi BK bar. This tire works great at a lot of indoor tracks. This is their pink clay compound. And at my old home track at Leisure Hours Raceway back there in Joliet, Illinois, this was really the tire to be on. If you weren't on this tire, you weren't going to win. That just, I mean, it just is what it is. Thanks, Mike Kachansky. Mike's the one who turned me on to these tires, and I love them, and they always worked really well. Here's the issue. Losi doesn't make this tire anymore. They stopped producing the BK bar, which for most of us that love this tire was a mega bummer. Well, luckily for us, AKA stepped up and it's basically, in fact, let me just show you real quick. It's basically the exact same tire, but it's on their new tread pattern, or not a new tread pattern, but it's on their new Evo style wheel. So what I decided to do, I wanted to see how the old tire would stack up versus the new tire. So I glued up a brand new set. I actually had some BK bars. I still have some BK bars. I glued them up. They both have the AKA red insert. Obviously one's on an evil wheel and one's not. And I ran them blindly on my buggy. And then I had one of the, one of the locals at my track, Zach Rogers, who used to be a factory Kyosho driver. I put them on his car and let him run them back to back to see which ones he liked better. So let me show you a little bit of running footage. And let me show you what Zach's opinion is, and then I'll get back and I'll give you my final, my final uh, conclusion. All right, so, uh, why well, yeah, Come on up here, we'll run it. Which tires are better? Typos, or Deja Vu, or whatever they're called, are way better. Are they? 15.9. They produce a lot more forward bag, and the car just it doesn't have that wish washy feeling of a loose disc or anything. Like you can predict it more. I think now that the track's getting a little bit more dry, the tires definitely seem to have more bite. Okay, so you saw the cars running on the track and this was really kind of a drier day. Where I live, it gets really hot and even when the misters are running on the track, it can go from really like a little bit wet and slimy to dry just like that. But uh, after back-to-back -back testing, after blindly changing the wheels and tires on both of our cars, Zach did it for me, I did it for him, we both came to the same conclusion that, believe it or not, the new school tire, uh, is it's a home run. The BK bar has been good. And if you're at a track where the BK bar has worked really good, you're in luck because the Deja Vu worked better. Uh, more forward bite. The side bite was more consistent, and uh, over, it could be due to the new wheel insert. I really don't know exactly why, but uh, I'm just really happy. You know, one thing I will say is I didn't, I wasn't able to come up with any pinstripes. My local hobby shop didn't have them, so I glued up a brand new set of taper pins in the front. So, if anything, I felt because we had matching compounds between the BK bar and the taper pin, I thought that maybe that would give the BK bar an advantage. But at the end of the day, the Deja Vu was just a little bit better. Just It just was clearly more, more forward bite. I think because the pin is a little bit taller and it just, even when you did want to slide the car, it just felt like it was just a little bit smoother to slide. And that could be the insert, could be the wheel, could be the rubber compound. I just don't know. 
And uh, so that's about that. You know, I know, I know from getting emails and messages from a lot of you guys that you guys go out and you do buy things that I recommend. And, and I appreciate that. And I hope that stuff works out great for you. But uh, I always try, I just want to be sure. You know, I like to test this stuff with other people besides me, people that have equivalent and higher skill levels than I do, just to make sure that I'm not getting kind of like a false positive. So I think it's pretty safe to say that at least at my track, uh, on, we were both running mid-motor cars. The Deja Vu definitely developed more forward bite, and when it did slide, it was more consistent. So that's about that. Good job, AKA, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, by the way, before you leave, I just want to say thanks again for watching my videos. I only make these videos so that we can have fun together. By the way, you'd be doing me a big favor if you could either comment, like, or even better, subscribe to my channel. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. No, I got a bunch of BK bars I don't need. <laughs> Anybody need BK bars?